Hello, my name is Michelle Chimadorch, and today I will present a dramatic reading of my Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie inspired blog titled Why I'm Taking the Road Most Traveled, which addresses distinguishing one's own dreams from their parents. Dear University of Toronto, Congratulations on my acceptance. My mother is quite pleased with your decision. I, of course, am the fruition of her hard work, and she won't let you down. The story of parent living vicariously through child is especially common in immigrant families. Mine is this. Living in downtown Toronto, mom spent much of her time in a public library across from the U of T campus, gazing longingly at the university through scratched up windows, fantasizing of the loiter of free space, endless rows of dense textbooks, and access to first class professors. This privilege of possibility was a long shot goal for her, a single mother-to-be working two jobs in her third trimester. But with me, her unattainable dreams had a fighting chance in this city. She'd rarely outright say she wanted me to go to this school, but she always subtly nudged me in the direction of perfection through enrichment activities and extracurriculars. Now it's time for me to come into agreement with myself. The freshman near me wouldn't be so comfortable following my mom's dreams. And the rebellious, neurotic part of me worries still, I've done my individuality a disservice by not only taking the obvious route to university, but also choosing the career field my mother is in. But the love which overpowers all this conflict tells me I am exceptionally lucky to have been raised by someone who's so good at what she does, she makes me want to have a go at it. To me, this school represents my mother's struggle to get me to a better place than she had been. So, did you read all that fine print? No? Never mind. You've got my money anyways. See you in September. Thank you.